Hey, this is Rob from ASUS, and today we're going to do a speed test between two ASUS U36 SD notebooks. And the difference between these two notebooks is the one in my hand has a 640 gigabyte hard drive, whereas the one beside it has 160 gigabyte solid state drive. So otherwise, these two notebooks are completely identical. They have second gen Intel Core i5 processors, NVIDIA GT 520M graphics, and four gigabytes of RAM. So first we're going to do a boot up test. And we know that the hard drive version on the left boots up in around 50 seconds. So we're going to see how much faster the one on the right will boot up compared to that. Right, so obviously there's quite a big speed difference already. And about 20 seconds in, we've already fully booted up the solid state drive version. And it looks like the hard drive version is still got quite a bit of ways to go. Alright, so what, extra 30 seconds for the hard drive version to boot. And it looks like it's just about there. So clearly we had a pretty significant speed difference with the solid state drive version versus the hard drive version. So let's see if that uh, boost in boot up time also translates to faster application load times. Because I think that's what most people are really looking for is a uh, performance boost in daily tasks as well. So for our next test we're going to use Photoshop and we're going to try loading really large files. So I'll show you the properties of our test file. It's over 278 megabytes, so it's a really large file. It's a Photoshop PSD. And we're gonna see if the solid state drive version can load Photoshop faster. So let's try it out. All right, so it's about five seconds in. It looks like the solid state drive one is already uh, fully loaded and the hard drive one still loading Photoshop so once again we have a pretty epic speed difference uh, probably going to be about 30 seconds difference here in the end so it looks like just with uh, boot up time application load time is going to be quite a lot faster with the solid state drive so we'll leave it up to you if that's worth the extra $200 for the SSD personally I think it's definitely worth it uh, but Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to ACUSROG.